the supplies that you will need for case five, Perilous Puzzles. So you'll need the Perilous Puzzles instruction worksheet and this Perilous Puzzles worksheet with the solutions on the back. You will also need your cardboard pieces. Make sure that you don't lose any and also things for decorating them such as markers or paint. Let's get started. Okay, detectives, to get started, what you're going to want to do is grab your instruction worksheet for case number five. And if you look at the bottom, there is this cool rocket for you to make. And so look at the picture and find all the pieces that you need. And the very top of the rocket, which is what I'm starting with, starts off with the smaller triangle. And then you use the medium sized triangle. There's only one medium size. And then the two larger ones. I had to turn my rocket sideways because it was too big and so I just twisted it sideways for you so that you could see it a little better and then the little square goes over there on that side and you got to be careful because it can get very confusing with all the edges even I got confused so don't worry if you do and remember that after you make this rocket you can decorate it if you want I decided to use pens but you can also not decorate it and make some other design with all the shapes like you could make a cat or a dog whatever you wanted I just really like the rocket so I decided to color it and there it is all finished I was very happy with the final product but remember you do not have to make the rocket you can make whatever you want <laughs> Okay, detectives, I'm going to take a moment to get a little creative. And so I sat down and I thought about what could I make with these shapes. And something popped right into my brain very quickly. Actually, it wasn't that quick. It took me a little while to think of this. And so I came up with this idea and I started moving the shapes around and I drew it out. And I want you to guess, what do you think this is going to be? What could I make? Oh! <gasps> It's a detective! What do you guys think? You'll have to let me know if you like it or not. You will have to let me know what kind of perilous puzzle you come up with. And remember that you do not need to paint your perilous puzzle or color it in, at like the thing that it is. So if you made a cat, you do not have to paint it or color it like a cat. You can do whatever you want, polka dots, stripes, whatever. And I hope you enjoy puzzling. <laughs> Okay, detectives, let's make some puzzles. So I went online and I found a couple puzzles that I thought that you would like. So here I am making this one. And it's a cat because both of our books for Reading Club have cats in them. And then the next thing I decided to make was something more summery. And so what's more summery than a fish? Yeah, there you go. And then the last thing I decided to make, this one's kind of random, I just saw it and I kind of liked the way that it looked. And it is a duck or a goose, whichever you would prefer. It looks a little more ducky to me, but whatever you want it to be. And there we go, there's a duck. <laughs> On the Perilous Puzzles worksheet, we have two riddles for you to solve. It's robber plus duck plus key and snail plus ship. I hope you guys can solve them. The solutions are in the back. I'm covering them so you don't see. I have also created a puzzle worksheet if you want more ideas for puzzles you can make. And it is uploaded to the blog on the PRPL website. So make sure you check that out. Remember to check out the activities that BC Summer Reading Club is posting on their website. Last week we made these jellyfish out of egg cartons and a treasure hunt. And this week we are making posters for our heroes. This is mine. This is my mom wearing her nurse's uniform. And then we also made these biographies in a bag. So here are all the things that I put in my bag. I put it in my top secret notebook, some paintbrushes, the summer reading club books because those are my favorite books right now. And then I also put sunscreen because I love to be outside. And I decided to spice up my biography bag and I painted it a little bit. Let me know if you do this. I'd love to see what you've done. Well done, detectives. That is it for case number five.
Oh my goodness. We are almost done cracking all of our cases together. That is insane. I, my mind is blown. I hope you had fun putting puzzle pieces together, creating your own puzzles, and solving some riddles. I know your detective minds got onto this right away and just solved everything. And I am so excited for next week. And I hope that you will join us. And I will see you next week for case number six. Oh, <laughs>